Hey, what is going on? Of course, to all of my alternative adult book snobs out there, it is me, Nostalgia Allure. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Bookshade, where, of course, we are all about affordability in regards to reading for alternative adult book snobs. So, today's episode guys this is the first ever i've never done this and this is like my first ever book haul of a complete book series so in case you guys don't know one of my favorite like television shows is buffy the vampire slayer and although buffy the vampire slayer it did have some like uh, minority characters throughout like the show but I wanted to see if I could find like a multicultural like book version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And they do have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer books and things like that, but it was not as diverse. So I, in my opinion, so I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can do some research and find like a multicultural book series um, that would have like a female vampire hunter like that kind of thing and I think I have found it guys so the series that I'm going to be doing the haul on was created by unfortunately this author um, ended up dying at the age of 51 due to cancer and who I'm talking about is LA Banks well respected okay in regards to I mean, she wrote fantasy, horror, um, you know, romance, women's fiction, um, but she was primarily known um, for her contributions in African American literature. Um, but this series, guys, is really unique because you don't always see like a woman of color, like the protagonist being yeah like overall the protagonist um you know a vampire hunter that is a woman of color that's kind of rare you know so i thought that was really cool and i just wanted to do this complete series book haul to show you um the name of this series and oh she also wrote a uh, paranormal romance as well um, but the name of this series guys it's called the vampire Huntress legend series and there are 12 books in all so let me show you them and and I did arrange them in the proper order okay as they were published so in 2003 LA Banks came out with uh oh hey what's going on welcome to the show and Okay, so in 2003, L.A. Banks started off with this book, which is called Minion. Okay, so this is book one. But what's really cool about this edition of Minion, it says that this is the special Huntress edition. And it has new scenes that were not in, like, the original publication. So I think this is, like, maybe a second edition, maybe a third edition, but... Yeah, I thought that was really cool and I like I, I like the covers of all of the books in this in this series. It, it's really cool. So that's book number one. Then in 2004, we got book number two, which is called The Awakening. OK, then in 2005, she released The Hunted. 2005 again she came out with book number four which is this one here it's called the bitten book number five is the forbidden so this is where in 2005 um it seemed that she went from like the smaller um like smaller paper like paperback books to these larger ones and i wish she kept them like this because they're just easier to put on your bookshelf in my opinion but yeah then you have the forbidden 
So sometimes she would come out with like one book, but then other times she would come out with like two books within like the same year, which is pretty cool. All right, then in 2006, she came out with book six, which is called The Damned. But what's interesting about this one, um, unfortunately guys, this one did not come with the poster, but this is a limit. It says it's a limited edition Vampire Hunters a Huntress legend poster inside so it was supposed to include it but this one unfortunately does not have it but I really like the cover on this one as well then in um, the following um, year in 2007 she came out with this book here uh, the forsaken which is book seven uh, well, in 2006, so there, there's like two different releases of each one of her books, which is interesting, right? So then in 2007, again, she came out with book number eight, which is The Wicked, and I love the cover on this one. Book nine is The Cursed. Okay, so I have to clarify books, um, the, follow, the books that are coming up. Um, from book 9 and onward, but technically it's book 10, book 11, and book 12. These are called, this is like the, tr it's like a conclusion trilogy that is called the Armageddon Finale. So th these three books are what wrap up the, the end of the Vampire Huntress Legend series. But then some of the books too also has additional content, like filler content that kind of fills up in between like chapters and stuff. It's it's a really unique series, I have to say. Um, but that's just me personally. So book number nine, and that one came out in, once again, 2007. Uh, this one is called The Curse. So with this one, I think what really uh, makes this one unique is it says an original between the books episode inside so these are the ones that um you get the main story in here but then you get like filler episodes the kind of things that were maybe not explained in the main plot of the story and i love the cover on this as uh as well so then after the curse you have book 10 and these are like the in between kind of concluding it too um so you have the darkness which is book 10 Book 11 is The Shadows. And then, um, and uh, okay, so The Wicked came out in 2008. Then The Curse came out. There was a 2007 version, but then there was also a 2008 version that came out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then um, Book 10, which is The Darkness, that one came out in 2008. And then later on in 2008, The Shadows came out. And then the book that concludes this like Arbageddon trilogy is this one here. And this one's called The 13th. And then this is what is the finale to the series. And that came out in 2009. So yeah, that's my, uh, I'm super excited guys to read these. They seem to be a really unique series. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited, like I said, to read these, but that's my haul, guys. Um, if you have any questions, you know, definitely let me know. If you have read L.A. Banks, let me know what you think about her work and everything. But yeah, it was really sad, guys, that she died from cancer. That's so unfortunate because um, she was so well, you know, respected within the genres that she wrote for. Uh, but overall, really well-rounded person, super beautiful and everything. So that's unfortunate we lost, you know, her talent to to cancer. But yeah, if you read her stuff, definitely let me know. If you have any, like, vampire romance book recommendations and, and stuff like that, um, yeah, leave it in that vicious comment section below, guys. And like I always say, remember to enjoy the darkness of reading. I'll talk to you uh, coming up on the weekend.